I did mention that um, I'd cover off basically um, a very basic um, tutorial and my workflow on on um, white balance with landscape images. Okay, um, my advice for you is to um, basically get it right in camera, color shift it. Uh, set it, you know, it correct in camera for that actual scene. Uh, more often than not, um, I use uh, an auto or a cloudy uh, preset in in in, uh, in 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 my ca camera, which is a Canon 5D Mark III. Okay, so what we've got in front of us now is we've got um, a very standard view of Ashness Jetty uh, on Dome Water. Okay, pleasant view. I've edited it slightly. I've brought the shadows up slightly. We've done nothing else to the picture. Okay, it's not what I'm doing in this video. Okay, what I'm trying to do is um, just show you what white balance post process can do for your image. Okay, so um, we've got in the we're in the develop module. Um, we've got the uh, the image in front of us. Okay, as I said. Fairly standard image of Asnesh Jetty uh, in Derwent Water. Um, we've got the white balance as shot on the on the right hand side here. Okay, and what we're going to do, I'm going to take you through the presets. Uh, so we've got auto, um, which totally and utterly washes out the scene. It's not what I want, to be quite honest. This scene was shot in um, in the blue hour, um, preceding um, sun sunset. Okay. Um, we've got a daylight setting, which is more or less what I saw uh, at that time of day. We've got cloudy, which will warm it up slightly, which is quite nice. Uh, we've got shade as well. Uh, we've got tungsten, which is crazy. You don't want that. Um, we've got fluorescent. Okay. Again, um, too much pink hues and, 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 and sort of uh, magenta in there. We've got flash, which is neither here nor there. And, and, and then we come to custom, okay? So what I tend to do is um, I tend to go as shot because I know I got it right in camera, okay? And then what I'll do is um, I'll, I'll, I'll take this slider, the temperature slider, and I'll just ever so slightly just start to decrease it slightly, okay? So we'll get some nice uh, blue, um, but you can warm it up as well to your tastes. Personally, um, I like my landscape images to be slightly, uh, slightly blue, okay? Uh, to match the filtration with the leaf filters that I that I like. Okay, so um, I'm going to slightly slide that down slightly because it was in blue hour to match what I saw in scene. And I'm also going to look at the tint as well. Um, yeah, not going to mess with that too much. I might just put add a couple of minuses in there as well. So as you can see. Uh, if you warm it up, that's what you get with that slider. And if you um, cool it down, that's what you get. You get a very tungsteny sort of feel. It's not right. So go to as shot. This is my workflow again. And I'm just going to cool it down by uh, 500 Kelvin or so. And I'm also just going to introduce a little bit more green into the image as well. Okay. And from there, I can add a bit of clarity if I wanted to, a bit more vibrance. I can take the highlights down ever so slightly. And for me, that's working as an image. Okay. Again, white balance is all about personal preference. All right. But that's my workflow with landscape and seascape images for white balance. I nearly every time alter the white balance of an, of an image. Only slightly, but just to my taste. All right. Thank you.